the evolution of the drum magnet. Erie's innovative P-Rex permanent rare earth extreme drum magnet is a historic breakthrough in ferrous separation. Installed in a typical scrapyard, this new drum superior ferrous recovery could generate thousands of dollars a day in additional profits. P-Rex's powerful permanent magnetic circuit, designed using sophisticated modeling techniques, is up to 40% stronger than an electromagnetic and is capable of moving large, spherical objects at twice the distance. Magnetic material fills the drum's surface, providing edge-to-edge -edge performance and is oriented to produce a cleaner frag with its triple action agitation. And it maintains its strength, suffering no heat loss, as is the case with electros. The first P-Rex drum magnets were installed recently at Liberty Iron in Phoenix, Arizona. The results were plain to see. The drum's raw strength and deep reach are evident as pieces of ferrous begin to rise out of the shredded material up to two feet away from the magnet surface. And the other big thing we noticed was the difference between the electromagnet and the permanent magnet is the permanent magnet is a lot more efficient than the electro. It's just got a wider field. We use the full length of the whole magnet instead of center of it. And the material actually reach stands up 18 to 20 inches in front of the magnet. It gets up out of the way of the, the non-ferrous and the fluff and the dirt and goes right to the magnet. And I noticed a big difference there. These diagrams illustrate P-Rex's significant strength and reach advantages. Erie's permanent magnet design produces up to 40% more strength and twice the reach creating an exceptionally large pickup zone. No ferrous escapes the clutches of P-Rex, not even heavy spheres or meatballs. Notice its pickup zone extending to the edges. Constructed of solid magnetic material, P-Rex produces a magnetic field to the edge of the drum's housing. By contrast, an electro's core coil construction produces a magnetic field strongest at the core and weak at the edges. This concept is easily seen by looking at the wear areas of an electro compared to the wider wear surface of P-Rex. For safety purposes, the configuration of the permanent magnets within P-Rex is oriented to draw the ferrous away from the drum's end cap. The design concept of P-Rex included producing a cleaner fraction. This is accomplished by the magnet's triple action agitation. By repeatedly alternating magnetic polarity along the drum's surface, the ferrous is flipped and shaken, releasing unwanted fluff and residue. The agitation is seen more easily in slow motion. The flipping action occurred at 7 o'clock, 9 o'clock, and again at 11 o'clock near the top of the magnet's rotation. Big, the big thing we've noticed right off the bat was the, the less material on our scavenger magnet. It went from quite a bit on the belt to none after we put the second magnet in. It made a tremendous difference. The best evidence of superior recovery is the lack of ferrous material on the scavenger belt. Waste and residue flow under the magnetic pulley, but virtually no ferrous is present. We installed the first P-Rex permanent drum magnet in July of 2010, and we noticed a great difference in the recovery of the product. After months of operation, the economics of the P-Rex drum magnet are clear. By capturing just 1% additional ferrous recovery, an operator shredding only 500 tons a day would likely see an extra $1,500 a day in profit. That's a fast payback on a drum that doesn't even require power to operate. If your drum's not a ferrous of ore, it's soon to be a dinosaur.